Okay. So today we're going to ride the back pasture. So at least now he is starting off at a walk and I just desensitized him some scary stuff so it could have, you know, amped him up, but he came back to a walk. Good job, buddy. And they're moving, so they're throwing new things into our little pile of junk over here, but you don't seem to care. Boy. So I'm always looking for creatures. Good job. Oops. So there's sometimes turkeys back here and deer. So he's being really good at walking. That's amazing, right? Good boy. Looks like nothing's as scary as that umbrella you took out, miss. Them to do that under saddle with you. Well, no. You ready? Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Good boy. 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 There's a turkey on the tree. You see that? Mm -hmm. So that could fly off in any minute. So I don't know if you saw it because it kind of looked like a branch. I definitely saw it. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff scares us more than it scares you because we know it might fly off and do something. Oh, so there's turkeys over here. All puffed up. two chicks. All right, we could have ran after him if he was over here. Good job, Taylor. So he's doing much better coming up here versus going down the road. So this is, might be Whenever he was on trail many years ago, more what they were like. It's steeper than it looks. Good job. So let's stop him, see if he'll stop. So you can have a look around. You can have a cookie. Watch the turkey show. Good job, buddy. So he's standing nice and quietly, but we are all by ourselves. Good boy. But overall, I'm very impressed with Taylor today. Right? This is really good so far. So let's try another stop. Oh, good boy. Maybe another cookie make you want to stop. So now I just dropped the reins, see what he would do. And he's just speeding up, so we're going to take up some contact and slow him back down. Job. Whoops. Well, he'll save you if you step in a hole. This is not the best footing out here. So now 
it starts to go downhill and it can get a little slippery. Whoa. Good boy. Good job. All right. Oh, so sometimes, you know, people have just run them down the hills. So I like to go down slow. It's better for their stifle to build up the muscles anyhow. Whoa. Good job, buddy. Good boy. And I don't stop too long because, you know, they're new to it. They can get antsy. We're going over prickers. Um, but he's doing good. Oh, he doesn't feel like he has any problem with his stifles going down the hill. But I'm trying to make him fire his quadricep muscles and use himself so he goes down slow like a quarter horse. Good boy. That's why so many pace because they swing their legs as they go down the hill. Oh, so they pace down the hill. It's easier for them. They don't have to use their muscles. So I like to teach them all to go down really slow because you don't want to start your horse pacing. And you'll have to watch all my other videos. <laughs> Good job, buddy. So let's stop again. Well, because he feels just a little antsy and maybe there's something over there. Easy. So the, uh, yesterday was out and back on the road, which is much harder for horses. This is a loop. Here he feels a little antsy, but he's still not doing anything bad. But just remember when you're watching his videos, he, he wasn't trail ridden for four years that the uh, people had him. So I think he's doing phenomenal because this is just our second trail ride. And the road was the first one. Good job. Oh, so there's a turkey straight ahead. You probably can't see her, but we can. And she's there with her babies. So we're not going to mess with her. But he's good with turkeys. He's not caring at all about that. That's why that guy was probably on the tree, the other turkey, looking for her. And she's like, I already have babies. Get the hell away from me, dude. He's like, you sure? You sure you don't want to get something else? Get away. So we won't tell him where she is. So here he's just going down fast. So we're going to stop. Good boy. Look what I got for you. He's like, well, you're the best trail rider ever. He's like, I'll go slow for you. Yep. Oh, good boy. Good job. Good job, Taylor. Hear me breathe. I always try to sigh and stay relaxed. So they stay relaxed. Unless I see a snake or a fire, like you saw in my other videos, then, then they do get a little freaked out. Probably more freaked out than the horses get. And that's it. That was your first trail ride. So not real long. Just a quick little loop. And uh, now we're going to walk around the barn, but you've already seen that. Maybe go in the arena a little bit. Walk around the barn, but decided to go down here. So a little just jumpy with the tarp and the fence over here. But he's just kind of scooting. But I want, you know, he's only going to get better from this. So I just want you to what he did before so and he's just he's still very comfortable he's just shortened his stride we're heading towards the turkeys unless he runs away i figure he chases the girls i can chase him 
he's down here the whole time in the road, and as soon as I come on the road, he runs away. You're okay. Good job. Well, you can't really see. Oh, there he is. I think all the turkeys talk, and they're like, if you see that lady on the horse, she's going to come after you. Right? Come on, let's chase him. Chicken. <laughs> All right. So I go, boy. So he didn't do anything with the turkey. That was good. He's just anxious here that he is nothing up this road. And I'm just trying to get him to bring his head down and relax. So you can hear his footfall. It's getting better because it was antsy. One, two, three, four. Three, four, two, three, four. Go, boy. This is much better. So he went to the bathroom, but no diarrhea, because diarrhea means they're really scared. Oh, you've probably never seen an electric fence. So, let's go up to the fence. Taylor's like, every time I'm with you, there's new stuff. Good job. Okay, so we're going to give him a break here anyhow. He's a little nervous, trying to build his trust. So, I'm going to get off and show him it's okay. Good boy. You're okay. Okay, let's go see the fence. He's like, that's what you said with the umbrella. Let's go see the umbrella. Next thing I know, it exploded on me. So you'll see he's nervous, but he's not doing anything horrible. Come on. He's like all these fancy things in California. Weird rocks. Good job, buddy. You want to go read their signs? Flies up here. Good job. You're on camera too. Come on. Don't want to smell it, just like on. If he won't, that's fine, but he seems to type that well. See, there he goes. He's like, oh, thanks. It's less scary than a turkey, actually. Mm hmm You gotta touch it. Oh, now you don't care. Now you wanna shake it? Let's see what else we got. So remember, these are their fingers. That's why I'm trying to get him to feel the fence. And no, the, the, you know, the rest of his life, he's not going to get up to um, be able to touch everything he's afraid of. But this is just getting him in the mode that we're afraid if we go touch it, good things are happening. Um, you know, so it's just setting them up for success. That's all. Right? Because people are like, well, they can't go up to everything. No, they can't. But what they can go up to, I want them to see. Because then the next time he sees a fence, he won't be so scared. 
a boy. Oh. See, so he gets scared, then he gets very brave. All right. And you don't want to leave it, do you? He's like, no, where's the cookies? Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're going to take a break and then uh, just walk back. So we made going away from the barn a good thing. Oh. You don't have any fingers to touch the box. <laughs> oh, but now he wants to touch everything. All right. Good job, Taylor.